Good morning. How are you doing today? In our Mind Your Muet video series with me, Madam Jai, your Muet teacher, I would like to focus on parts of speech, which is actually grammar and specifically on nouns. Now, why am I suddenly doing a series of uh, lessons on grammar? Because I find that many of my students are very weak in grammar. And um, mastering grammar will actually help you to uh, not only speak better, but also write better. So let's get our lesson started. What are parts of speech? Every word in the English language, depending on the way it is used, can be classified as a part of speech. There are altogether eight parts of speech. Nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. Today's lesson, we are focusing on nouns. And in the following lessons, I will be speaking more about the other parts of the speech. So what are nouns? Nouns are words which name persons, places, things, creatures, and ideas. In the following sentences, the words underlined are nouns. Ahmad is a teacher. Hmm, why is Ahmad being, you know, capitalized? Why do we... Do we capitalize the word Ahmad? Well, Ahmad is a proper noun, although it's also a person, but it's a specific person. When a person, place, things, or creatures, or ideas are specifically named, uh, for example, Ahmad for a person, or Kuala Lumpur for place, or Apple iPad for things or uh, chomel for a cat. These are all known as proper nouns. So, Ahmad and teacher are nouns. And also the next sentence, Aisha is reading a book. Aisha is a proper noun while book is a common noun. So, if let's say I want to change um, that common noun book to a proper noun, for example. I could say, Aisha is reading The Great uh, Encounters by Charles Dickens, for example. Then that, that Great Encounters is a proper noun. Okay, I have a pen and some pencils. There are elephants in Malaysia. The school is in Kotabaru. The ball rolls down the hill. So all those words that are underlined are nouns. Okay. The kite is in the air. Kite and air are nouns. Mr. Wong works in a factory. Mr. Wong and factory are nouns. The children are having fun. Children and fun are nouns. They are having a game in the water. Game and water are nouns. Christmas is in December. Christmas is a proper noun as well as December is a proper noun. So they are both um. Words, both words are capitalized. Rama takes a bride. Rama is a proper noun, while bride is a common noun. Okay, now we have an exercise. Underline the nouns in the following sentences. Number one, the baby is crying. Number two, Pamela is in a boat. Number three, the girl is with her mother. Number four, the dog is sleeping under your bed. Number five, Daniel has breakfast at home. 
Six, Blackie brings the shoes to me. Seven, the monkey is climbing up a tree. Eight, the desks are in the classroom. Nine, the doctor is in the clinic. Ten, the milk is for the cat. Eleven, Mr. Tan drives a bus. Twelve, Vanisha likes to draw pictures. Thirteen, Patasha and Aimi are good friends. Fourteen, the cows are eating the grass. Fifteen, our garden is full of flowers. Did you get all the answers? Let's look at the answers and see if you got them right. Number one, baby is the answer. Two, Pamela, the proper noun, and boat. Three, girl and mother. Four, dog and bed. Five, Daniel, breakfast and home. So there are three nouns in this sentence. Did you get breakfast as a noun? You may have missed it. Check your answer, please. Six, Blackie and shoes. Seven, monkey and tree. Eight, the desk, just desk and classroom. Nine, doctor and clinic. Ten, milk and cat. Mr. Tan, bus. 12. Vanisha pictures. That's right. Vanisha and Mr. Tan are proper nouns. Very good. 13. Patasha, I me, friends. 14. Cows and grass. And lastly, 15. Garden and flowers. So with that, I would like to say thank you. Let's spruce up our grammar during this time we are saying at home. Stay safe and don't forget to click on the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.